What is going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a while. I took a little cruise, but I'm back. Uh, I got back and guess what's giving me issues again? The old 500 SL. So let's jump right into it. This car is a 1990, so it uses K Ejectronic uh, fuel injection. So obviously when you get just a uh, cold start complaint, but perfect starts when it's warm, um, obviously you're probably dealing with some sort of input sensor. So we're going to jump right into today's issue. Um, so you guys know this issue was only when cold. It started perfectly fine when it was warm, so don't let up the parts scanning based on my video. Uh, always do good diagnosis and check out my channel for any other problems you may be having with your R129, especially KE Jectronic. Um, I replace a lot of parts whenever this thing gives me go. So let's jump into the issue. As with the uh, hood popped, beauty cover moved, we can take a look at all three, yes, three of our coolant temperature sensors. We have the single pole or single terminal this one is for the uh the gauge on the dash this is the four pin is what it's commonly referred to in the uh, forums we'll, we'll get to that in a moment and then we have the I'll, I'll call it the blue one or the two pin whatever you want uh, there's a lot of different terminology over the, all over the forums for these um, but the blue one is for the auxiliary fans so yes this does have a mechanical fan however we have the two auxiliaries up front so they're not just for the ac <clears throat> They also uh, can go off engine temp if it gets too warm. You can test this sensor by taking resistance from the four pins uh, diagonally. So there's two pins diagonal of each other and you're gonna take resistance of both of those and compare those. Uh, obviously, if your coolant temperature should be real cool and you haven't started the car, you shouldn't get resistance that would lead the computer to believe that it's 150, 160, you know, operating temp. So the reason that this sensor is responsible is that when you go to do a cold start, um, the computer takes a signal from this actually two this is a four pin there's no hot and ground it's taking two signals and taking the resistance of both of those and calculating a temperature at that given time when you go to start so what was going on was that was giving a false temperature and giving my uh, cold start valve or whatever you want to call it an issue this is the ninth fuel injector for cold starts so the issue when this goes wrong and this is giving the engine a faulty temperature this isn't going to work right and you're going to experience all kinds of starting issues. Uh, luckily mine were just cold. So you can find these on Pelican or FCP. They're nice and cheap. Uh, obviously I recommend doing all of them. I should have got this one on. So here we have the two old ones. As you guys can see, I installed new ones. Uh, for the new ones, you're going to need an 18 millimeter socket. Would definitely recommend an extension just to stay away from all of this with your ratchet or whatever tool you're using. And then this one is going to be a 22 millimeter. Uh, same thing there. Would definitely recommend unplugging this. Um, unless it's looking kind of crusty, you can just peel it out the way. But be real careful with all this stuff, especially on these old cars, as I always say. Hey. 